Robotics is a company making uh, very uh, realistic humanoid robots. They are customizable, and we believe that the more human-like you can make a robot, the more natural interacting with it will become. Uh, and I think it creates a unique conduit between you know, emerging AI technology and human beings. Realbotics' mission is to create uh, highly human-like robots, and we believe that the more human-like uh, we can do uh, in terms of building a robot, the more natural interacting it with it will become. I've been having a fantastic time at the conference, engaging with everyone and sharing the exciting innovations from Realbotics. I believe we're going to start seeing robots uh, all the time in day-to-day -day life, uh, certainly in warehouses and doing uh, tasks and things like that. Uh, but I also believe we'll start to see them customer facing and interacting socially with, with human beings. And I think that's where our robots are going to excel. I think there's a use case for a traditional robot looking robot. Uh, and, and really robots come in all shapes and sizes. I mean, arguably a Tesla is a robot. Uh, it does drive, it can drive uh, without you know, human intervention sometimes. Um, but, you know, uh, you could also have a, a robot that's designed for moving boxes around that doesn't need to do anything else. So it doesn't really need to look human-like. Uh, but I believe for us, uh, anyway, it's the socializing and conversational aspect and the ability of our robots to express emotion uh, that will bring those interactions to a more social level. This robot here is uh, demonstrating our new vision system, which is essentially uh, giving the robot the capability to recognize faces and track them um, and be able to make eye contact, which is a very surreal, uh, it's a non-language way of conveying intelligence. Uh, so from that, we're able to get a whole bunch of information like, what, is this person happy or sad? Um, even with an infrared camera, you could tell if they had a fever. So you can imagine that could be useful in a great deal of situations. Um, and then from there, we have a full, uh, we have our own custom AI that we use, LLM, for conversational uses. Um, <clears throat> and we also have an API that will be available this year for third parties to integrate their own AIs and, and LLMs to run our robots. Well, so we have uh, 16 motors from the neck up. Um, we've spent the most time developing the heads of the robots. Uh, trying to stay away from the uncanny valley. Uh, I believe that a, a lot of uh, people who build human-like robots go too far with the expressions and they're unnatural and you know not human necessarily. Um, most people have very little change sometimes in their face um, unless they're making an extreme expression. Uh, and so I, I try to keep within that realm of reality and we have all those motors doing that micro expression. You know, we've gone to great lengths to make our robots look aesthetically beautiful. And the last thing I would want is for this beautiful robot to kind of walk like a, uh, you know, one of these robots that you see walking like that. Just continuing to advance all of the various moving parts that are involved in making these robots work. So, you know, we're consistently developing new ways of, of attacking problems with hardware, uh, making things lighter, stronger, faster, last longer, and then at the same time leveraging all the new tools that come out almost daily now with, uh, with AI algorithms and large language models for, for chat, chatting back and forth and having natural conversations. We've had nothing other than crowds here at CES this whole week, and I think it, it's uh, proof that uh, a brand could buy a robot and bring it to their exhibition like this and bring a crowd to their booth, draw them in, you know, get them to recognize the brand and engage them in a conversation. And the robot would know everything there's to know about your product and your company. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.